My friend Mark Stearns, who is a Corps officer with the Salvation Army, posted something yesterday that, uh, that really struck a chord with me. He wrote, Remain faithful. Moses remained faithful to God. He went to war with the Midianites and led a nation of people to the border of the Promised Land even after being told by God he wasn't going to inherit the promise. That is being faithful to God at all costs. It's wonderful when we begin to study the Word, how the Holy Spirit will lead us to lessons like that. Being faithful. That's what God is calling us to do today, is to be faithful. When Paul wrote uh, his second letter to Timothy, he said these pretty amazing words in 2 Timothy 2.13. If we are faithless, he, God, remains faithful, for he cannot deny himself. It's an amazing thought when you think about it. God is faithful. God is the very definition of faithful. When he wrote to the uh, church at Thessalonica in his second letter, Paul said, The Lord is faithful, who will establish you and guard you from the evil one. Dear ones, did you get that? He will establish you and guard you from the evil one. So for me today, as I go through the day and um, experience the different things that I will be dealing with today, I want to continually be reminded in my heart and mind to be faithful. I will be faithful. I'm going to make that a little motto for the day. Will you join me in doing that? I will be faithful. God is faithful, and let's be faithful to Him. I have a feeling it might make a, it might make for a pretty good day. So let's be faithful. God bless you.